to my channel. Yep, that's me, Cleopatra. I didn't always look like this, so let's take a quick trip down memory lane. Flashback 17 years from now, and yes, that was me. I know, I was a very good looking child. Growing up as a kid, my family and I never really had a lot of money, and we never really went on a ton of family vacations, but as cheesy as it sounds, I had my family and my siblings, and that was basically everything that I needed. I think it's safe to say I had a pretty lit childhood, and now that I'm growing up and turning 18, I feel like I'm morally obligated to live out these last few days of being a child before they're quickly taken away from me. So for today's video, I decided that I'd do something that is a little different, something that I've actually never filmed before, and this video was actually inspired by Ellie Thuman. She basically made a video where she tried to relive her childhood before she turned 18, and this year I'm going to be turning the big 1A, I'm going to be turning 18, I'm basically going to be a legal adult now, I'm going to be able to get a credit card, get my own bank account, sign my own contracts, I'm going to be able to vote, I'm going to be able to get tattoos and piercings without parental consent. I'm also going to be able to drink, like, it's crazy. And I still don't know how to do taxes. But anyways, I decided in today's video I'd bring you guys along and show you what I'm going to be doing to relive my childhood. And there are some things that I really, really, really wanted to do, like, with my friends and just to go out to specific places and do certain activities. But obviously, since we're in quarantine, we can't do that. I'm just going to try my best to work with what I have and still make this video really entertaining for you guys. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this video, but I realized that when I was editing this, I didn't actually say specifically what I was going to be doing in this video. So basically, we're going to be eating throwback food or nostalgic food we're going to be listening to a bunch of throwback songs and we're also going to be playing some fun games like pop tropica that just remind me of my childhood so yeah so i hope you guys like it and without further ado let's get started why do you need to stop throwing up songs oh my goodness why do you need to hear songs As a kid, I breakfast was such a big part of my day, and one thing that I loved so much for breakfast was cereal. Whenever I woke up in the morning and I was having cereal that day for breakfast before I went to school, that's when I knew it was gonna be a good day. And growing up as a kid, I loved watching all the cereal commercials that would go on in between watching TV shows. Oh, it was so amazing. Um, but apparently, this cereal was really popular when I was a kid. It's the Trix Fruity Fruity Shapes. I have never had this cereal before. I didn't even know this existed. I never really heard anyone talk about it when when I was a kid. So I definitely wanted to try it because I mean, like, I already know what Frosted Flakes tastes like. I already know what Cinnamon Crunch, crunch tastes like. This cereal smells. It smells really good. Like, it probably has a bunch of like artificial stuff in it. But like, if you can see, oh my, this cereal looks so aesthetically pleasing. Like, oh my goodness, like, look at it. It's so vibrant and so colorful. It looks so nice. But anyways, I'm gonna put some milk in it and eat this for breakfast. And I also poured some orange juice in it. Um, because I remember growing up as a kid, whenever you would watch like the commercials when they would like show cereal, they would always have a bowl of cereal, a cup of orange juice, and then like half an orange to go with it. Which I never understood the concept of that because if you're already gonna eat an orange, why would you have orange juice with it, you know? It's like sitting there and eating an apple and drinking it with apple juice. Like, I just kinda wanna try some of the dry cereal. I wonder if it tastes different. It, it reminds me of this one cereal. Um, oh, it reminds me of Fruit Loops. How much sugar does this stuff have? It has 10 grams of sugar per cup. I love. I always found it so funny how like they would advertise such sweet cereal and then they'd be like, part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> It tastes exactly like Fruit, Fruit Loops, in my opinion. Like it tastes exactly like Fruit Loops, but it's really good. I really do like it. This is bringing back so many memories. Like, I remember when I would wake up really early in the morning on weekends, and like, I'd go downstairs around like nine or ten with like my older brothers and my younger brother too, 
And then we just sit at the table and eat breakfast. And then after that, we would go into the living room and we would watch like Yu-Gi-Oh in the morning. And uh, it makes like so many memories. I love that. I really do. Anyways, um, we're done with breakfast. So stay posted, stay tuned, and I will see you guys later. This next segment of the video i decided that i would listen to some throwback songs honestly music made such music makes up such a big part of my childhood i remember every single time when my parents wouldn't let us watch tv we would always turn on the radio yes we listened and used the radio um if you know what that is but anyways um we would play music on this radio we still have it actually in the house it's like this big old radio and i remember we would play music and we would listen um to 91 7 the bounce and virgin radio and they had some of the best songs and every single time i go back and listen to these songs they just bring back so many memories so i decided that i'd share some of my favorite songs with you guys so i'm gonna open my spotify i made a throwbacks playlist and oh my goodness i love these songs so much Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. next part of reliving my childhood, I guess you could say, is snacks. Obviously, like, food plays a big part in, for, for me personally, it played a big part in me growing up. I feel like it does for all people. And specific foods, when you eat them, bring back memories sometimes. And I decided that I would try a few snacks that I, A, have either had when I was younger, or B, I always wanted to try, but I never, um, like my parents, like never bought the snacks. So the two snacks that I have here today are Fruit by the Foot. Oh my goodness, I remember seeing these commercials all over the TV, and oh my goodness, I loved Fruit by the Foot growing up as a kid. My parents never really let us buy it as often because, in all honesty, it really is sweet. And for these, I didn't really realize how small they were. Like. In my opinion, I feel like they were bigger when I was younger, and I feel like they were longer too, but like... Anyways, this is in the flavor, um, Rip and Berry. I've always noticed a lot of the snacks that they were advertised were so sweet. Like, this is this is candy, this really is. It smells amazing too, but, um, I remember in elementary when you would bring this out during lunchtime, the amount of people that would ask you if they could trade snacks with you, it was honestly so unbelievable. Like, these were honestly a hot commodity when I was in elementary, like, if you either brought um, Gushers, Fruit by the Foot, Dunkaroos, or like the Scooby-Doo gummies or like the door gummies, those were so good. Everyone would want to trade snacks with you during lunchtime. But anyways, um, I'm just going to try a little bit of it. 
tastes really good. That's a 10 out of 10. I really like that. Okay, so the next snack that I'm gonna try is goldfish. Now, I remember when I was younger, they came out with a vanilla cupcake flavor had just came out, and it was literally everywhere. There were so many commercials about this flavor of goldfish, and everyone was bringing it to school for lunch, and my parents never let me buy them. I know they're not gonna taste like vanilla vanilla cupcake, but I feel like they're gonna taste more like sweet crackers. When you smell them, they do smell like Teddy Grahams. I personally really hope they don't taste like Teddy Grahams because I absolutely hate the taste of Teddy Grahams. I personally, I, I just never have liked them. So hopefully they don't taste like that. Um, I'm gonna try them, but yeah. Oh, they kind of have like little sprinkles on them, so. Yeah, they taste pretty good. They're not bad in my opinion. Like they don't taste bad. Would I eat them again? Yes, but would I like go out and willingly buy them? No, like if somebody offered them to me and I didn't have anything else to eat, yeah, I would eat them. Okay, I used to play Pop Tropical all the time when I was in elementary, and I swear every single time when you were done doing your work on the computer and the teacher let you have free time, everyone was on Pop Tropical. I love this game so much. Now, I honestly have no clue what my old account is or what my old username is. The last time I've been on Pop Tropica was probably when I was in third grade, and I'm in grade 12 right now, so I ha I like I don't even remember what my username is. So we're just going to be creating a new account. Oh my goodness, this brings back so many memories. Oh yeah, I remember you customized your characters. What should we go for? Sure, let's pick her. Welcome to Pop Tropica. What would you like to do first? What would you like to do first? Why can't I? Oh. Customize your looks, start a new adventure, adopt a pet. You can adopt pets? When I played this in elementary, you couldn't adopt pets. Okay, um, let's customize our look. Customize how I look, sure. Great, let's do this. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys found this video very entertaining. Again, thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes that you guys wished me. Although um, I was in quarantine during my birthday, I never, ever, ever thought that I'd spend my 18th birthday quarantined. But um, I'm just very grateful that I'm still alive. I'm very grateful for 18 years of living and 18 years of life. And even though this isn't the way I wanted my 18th birthday to turn out, I'm just really grateful to be here. I'm grateful for all my friends and family. Just everyone who wished me birthday wishes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your love and support. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye!